Video of someone hitting two women with a coffee pot at an IHOP in the West Valley first surfacing yesterday, sending shockwaves because this video is hard to watch. Two women and those who were in the restaurant ran away. They were all innocent patrons who did nothing wrong. 47 year old Joe Ernest Mesa is out on bail and today we take a look at the issues surrounding this case and how the prison system, according to one expert, won't even take care of the root problem, which all points to mental health. Joe Ernest Mesa is the suspect seen in this video assaulting two friends simply having a chat at this IHOP on 51st Avenue and the I-10. The women both suffered concussions, but most importantly, they are emotionally scarred for life. Today, the man who aggressively attacked them is out on bail. There is a concern about what else he could do, and that's why they revoked bail. But there was no revoking of any bail for Mesa. In fact, his son has posted bail for him in the past. Mesa has a lengthy criminal record, and according to experts, his release shows the court didn't find any reason to impose a restriction. We should not fool ourselves to think that this is the end of the problem for that particular defendant. He'll still come out of prison with the same mental health problems. From a police report, we've learned Mesa is a veteran who suffers from mental health. Whether or not he's getting treatment is unknown. If he's known to have mental health problems and is not currently under control and getting mental health treatment, then there's no reason to believe that suddenly this incident will cause that to happen. Donna Leone Ham is the executive director at Middle Ground Prison Reform. She says Mesa's case is a perfect example of how the prison system isn't equipped to truly help people like Mesa, who's been in and out of prison for years. We made a mistake many, many years ago when we, st when we closed down mental institutions and removed a lot of the resources in the community for that net, that safety net, before someone fell into the criminal justice system. Carla Navarrete, ABC 15, Arizona.